Hey what's up guys welcome back. In this video I'll show you how to install the Unity software inside your Windows or Mac system. I'm doing this installation on my Windows machine but the same procedure can be followed by Mac users. So for installing Unity I'll first open Google and in the search field I'll type Unity Archive Download and I'll open this URL that is unity3d.com slash getunity slash download slash archive. So I'll open this link. I'll put this link in the resource section so you can check this link directly from the resource section. Now guys, the reason why we have come to this Unity Download Archive website is because the Unity software goes through some minor and major updates in every 2-3 to three months and the Unity version which I have used for this course is 5.5.1 but the latest version by the time of this recording is 5.6.0. And if, we, and if we take a closer look at the version numbers, then the number after the second dot basically represent that the update is a minor one and the number after the first dot basically represent that the update is major. So for example, Unity 5.6.0 will have a major update as compared to the version 5.5.3. But if we compare the version 5.5.3 and 5.5.2, then there will be a minor update between the versions 5.5.2 to 5.5.3. So guys, if you're a complete beginner to game development and if you're programming in Unity for the first time, then I'll advise you to download the version which I have used for this course, that is 5.5.1, because it will be easier for you to follow along this course. If you download some other versions, then that's fine but there will be some minor differences in the user interface. Okay. So guys, I'll basically download the setup file for the version 5.5.1. Now, if you look at this drop downs over here, this set of drop down is for the Windows system. And this set of drop down is for the Mac system. Okay. So if you have a Mac machine, then click on this drop down and you need to download this unity installer setup file. If you have a Windows system, then you have to click on this drop down and you have to click on this unity installer file. So I'll click over here to download the unity setup file. Okay, now guys, as you can see, the unity setup file is downloaded in my system. So I'll open it and copy it inside my desktop. So as you can see, I've copied the setup file on my desktop. And as you can see, the size of this file is 715 KB. Okay, so to install unity, I'll double click on this file. I'll then click on yes. After this, I'll click on the next button. I'll then accept the terms of condition. I'll again click on next. Okay. Now, since my system is 64 bit, I'll choose the 64 bit option. If your system is 32 bit, you have to choose a 32 bit option. Okay. I'll again click on next. Now guys, if you look over here, these are the standard unity components, which will be downloaded. Okay. As unity gets installed. So I'll leave this options checked after this, I'll click on next again. Okay. And I'll again click on next. So guys, as you can see, the Unity installation has started in my machine and it will take some time for the installation to get completed. So guys, as you can see, the installation of Unity software is complete and I will then click on the finish button to open the Unity software. Next, I'll click on the allow access button. Now guys, when you open the Unity software, you'll be brought to this window. So after installing the Unity software, next we need to activate the software. And to activate the Unity software inside your system, you should have a Unity ID. I already have a Unity ID, but let me show you how to create one. So to create a new Unity ID, you have to click on this create one link. And once you click on the create one link, you will be brought to the sign up page where you have to fill in the details for creating your unity id so first you need to enter your email id next you need to set a proper password after this you need to set a unique username then you have to enter your full name and at the last you have to select your country once you fill in all the information you have to agree to the terms and condition and then you have to click on this create a unity id button now after filling the form next you will get a confirmation email on your email id and then you have to click on this confirmation link to confirm your account once your account is confirmed next inside the sign in window you have to enter the email id and password which you have used for your unity account 
After this, I'll click on sign in. Next, you will be brought to the license page and you have to select the personal edition as the personal edition is totally free. I'll then click next. After this, I'll select the last option. That is, I don't use Unity in professional capacity. After selecting the license, next, you have to complete the short survey. And after completing the survey, you have to click on OK. And once the software activation is complete, you will get the thank you message. So guys, the Unity software is installed in my system and I hope it is installed in your system as well. So let's start building a Unity projects. I hope you would have liked this video. This was a free video from my virtual reality course, which is available on Udemy. This course is currently priced at $200 but you can get it at a discounted price of just $10 by clicking on the link in the description. So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like these. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.